Good morning. It is a brisk, crisp morning in Portugal. And we are leaving Braga today. It's a Thursday. And we are headed to the nearby town of Barcelos. Uh, they have a market that is a weekly market. And if you have watched some of our other videos, you know that we love to get to know a city by climbing up and viewing a height or by going to the city market. So, I hope you can hear those bells, that's really cool. Anyhow, the market that we're headed to is not just the largest one in Portugal, but it is reputed to be the largest one in Europe. So, I don't know if it's gonna be the breadth of options or if it's how much space it covers, but we are really curious to see what this market has on offer. They'll have everything. <laughs> they probably will have more than Jenny. By the way, if you wanna check out some of our other videos on markets, go ahead and click the link in the top corner. Otherwise, we'll pick you up in Barcelos. We don't have a car yet, so we're traveling by train. This is by far the biggest market we've ever been to. I don't even know how to keep track of everywhere that we've been versus where we haven't been. <laughs> there are people going up and down the aisles, giving out brochures to real estate property, and they're selling lotto tickets and linens by hand. Like they're competing with the stalls that are here. Uh, sprawling doesn't begin to describe this. Just immense, huge, wow. There are maybe like a hundred clothing stalls. I've never seen so many clothing stalls in a market. Way more than a hundred. <laughs> Buildings more than a hundred. Oh. <laughs> if you watched our French series, you saw us visit the market in Chiani, France, and we said that they had everything, and at the time we meant it. This market really has everything. They have woven baskets, lots of pottery, including something that I can't figure out what it is. They have throw rugs. Need some furniture for your house? You can even custom order your furniture while you're here. Lawn ornaments, souvenirs. You can buy curtains for your house. Very nice looking. You can buy fabric here. And bedding. Plants for your house. You can never have too many purses. You might need an umbrella. Seeds, so you can start your own garden. There's even a hardware stand. You can be really happy when you kill a fly. <laughs> the cutest slippers I've ever seen. Well, that's a first. We've never seen rope at a market before. And a variety of handmade wooden objects. <laughs> You can buy CDs. Wait, does anybody do that anymore? <laughs> this cafe did not have to sell the Nata. This actually might be better. I have no idea what it is. It looks sort of like a nut roll. It has a crust on the bottom and it has a custard in the middle, very similar to the Pasal de Nata. Then it's topped with roasted peanuts and a layer of honey on top. And it it's a mouthful, so give me a minute. Oh my god. Mmm, there's also some coconut. It is crunchy and creamy and crispy all at the same time. It is one of the most amazing desserts I've ever had, and Bill thinks he's getting half of this. Little does he know. Poor Bill. <laughs> Poor Bill. <laughs> so until Heather lets me have a bite of the other thing, uh, this is what I've got, and it's basically a pastel de nata but in a kind of muffin form with a, with the a stuffed cream in the middle and a little bit of coconut, it's very good. Mm. All of this was only three euro. <clears throat> we just finished our break. We would estimate that we're about 33 to 50% done with walking through the market. Uh, and we have been here for an hour and a half, but like 20 minutes of that was our coffee break. Expansive. The market's just huge. We haven't even gotten to like the food part yet. There was a little bit. There was a, yeah, there was a little bit just in the middle, and it was all really small farmers. It looked like, or maybe just people selling things from the gardens, which is kind of neat. And uh, it, that was the busiest part of the market for sure.
We found all the produce. Look at all the amazing fruit. Ham and cheese, right next to a bread stand. The bread smells amazing. Nuts. Norwegian bacalao. Kitchen items. Can I bring this in my carry-on? Don't bump this table. There are roosters everywhere. And why are there so many roosters in Barcelos? Well, there's an old Portuguese folktale about a man accused of a crime he didn't commit. He proclaimed his innocence to the local magistrate who was in the middle of eating a rooster dinner. He protested by saying, it is as certain as I am innocent as that rooster will crow when they hang me. As the man was being hung, the judge's roasted rooster got up and crowed, proving the man's innocence. The judge hurried into town to save the man, was successful, and the man continued on his pilgrimage as a free man. The legend has continued over the years and the rooster is now one of the proud symbols of Portugal. The rooster sculpture that's behind me is actually made of paper roses and it's beautiful. Way up on top is one of their roosters, all made out of paper roses. It's beautiful, really unique, very cool. That was a pretty good market. Yeah, it was fantastic. Similar to the, some of the other ones we've been to, but it's just, just bigger. Everything was bigger about it. I know we said it before, but they really did have everything there. It was such a diverse offering. I don't think I've ever seen so many clothes in one place. You can close yourself, you can furnish your home, uh, get everything you need to cook a meal, including the pots and pans. It was definitely a market that was more toward the locals, which made it a really fun atmosphere. We were some of the only tourists, uh, and we really loved experiencing their weekly market. We just had best lunch. We, we stumbled into this restaurant, and we asked, do you speak English, Spanish? And he goes, no English, no English, Spanish. And then proceeded to speak in English to us just a little bit and told us that we have chicken and we have pork. So I ordered chicken and Bill ordered pork and we had no idea how much it cost. There didn't seem to be another menu and we asked if they had soup and they did. So we had soup, I had a Coke, Bill had wine. Uh, we had a pretty big meal. No idea how much it was gonna cost. <laughs> and the, uh, Bill came out and Bill paid it. Bill paid the bill. And it was a whopping 10 euro. That's for both of us, not each. What a bargain, my gosh. And it was totally like local Portuguese cooking and we were clearly the only tourists that were there. Uh, that's, that's the best kind of meal to have. Oh, we are headed back to Braga. Uh, we've had fun here checking out the market. As we've mentioned, we really enjoy markets, especially when they're like these and they're made more for locals. This one is a bit clumsy to get to from Braga. If you love markets, then plan on making a day trip out of this because there are no direct trains and you have to connect. So it's a little bit longer of a journey in order to come here. If you have a car and you enjoy markets, then you have to put this on your list when you visit Portugal. Yep, definitely. Now we're headed back because there's some rain moving in and we are a little bit underprepared for that today. <laughs>